Hello, this is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. And today we're going to look at the five top cancer-fighting foods that you'll want to put in your diet every day, especially if you, like me, are a cancer survivor. First of all, let me say this. Every plant God created in this world has cancer-fighting potential. But the ones we're going to talk about today are the superstars when they make it to the top five. I also want to say this. I am not advocating that you use food only and forego cancer treatments. What I'm advocating is this, that your doctor has his or her job to do, but you also have a job to do and you need to eat healthy foods that can help and complement what your doctor is doing to fight cancer. So let's look at number one, and that is broccoli sprouts. Just a clump about this size has enough sulforaphane to really inhibit cancer cell growth. This sulforaphane is a plant chemical that is anti-cancer. And this mini sprouts is the same amount of sulforaphane in plant chemicals as a whole bowl of broccoli this big. Now, can I be honest with you? My husband and I don't love the taste of broccoli sprouts, but many people do, and I can eat some. But people will put them on top of their salads, their soups, they will put them in foods, but hey, I put mine in my smoothie every day and we don't taste them. That's powerful cancer fighting power. The second on our list of top five is cruciferous vegetables. Now these cruciferous vegetables, of course, broccoli sprouts are a cruciferous vegetable, but I put them as number one because they're in a category all by themselves because they are so powerful. But cruciferous vegetables include dark leafy greens like arugula. They also include broccoli. These ever popular broccoli sprouts that are showing up in so many restaurants roasted. Cabbage, cauliflower, chard, kale, watercress. And cruciferous vegetables are called cruciferous vegetables because there are four flowers in them that look like a cross. Again, all of these cruciferous vegetables contain high amounts of sulforaphane, this plant cancer-fighting chemical. In a test tube study, they actually found that sulforaphane reduced the size and number of breast cancer cells by 75%. But I think even this from research is more impressive. They found that the sulforaphane in cruciferous vegetables inhibits breast cancer stem cells. So to me, that is definitely a reason I'm gonna include these in my daily regimen. Now, it's not just breast cancer that this is important for, although the American Cancer Society has been talking about cruciferous vegetables since the 1980s for breast cancer patients. But other cancers, prostate cancer, colon cancers, benefit from cruciferous vegetables. A meta-analysis of 35 studies showed a lower risk of colon rectal cancer when eating cruciferous vegetables. All right, number three on the list, one of my favorites, blueberries. And all berries have cancer-fighting power, but blueberries is the top one. That's why my husband and I get a cup every single day. Now, many neurologists are recommending a cup of blueberries for prevention of Alzheimer's and dementia. And a lot of people are recommending it for the heart as well. But today we're talking about cancer, and a cup a day helps keep the doctor away and reduces and prevents 
cancer. Why? It's the anthocyanins, this deep purple color in the blueberries that are the plant chemicals that fight cancer. And this is what's interesting. Dr. William Lee, a Harvard medical doctor, when he was in medical school, he was trained by a Harvard medical doctor that invented Avastin. Avastin is a cancer drug used to cut off the blood supply to cancer tumors. What's interesting is that Dr. Lee found that blueberries also cut off the blood supply to cancer tumors. Again, your doctor works on the outside with Avastin. You work on the inside with blueberries, just eating a cup every day. I didn't say you needed to gorge and eat a gallon a day. The whole point is you're doing your job, your doctor's doing their job, and the blueberries do not have side effects. All right, number four, flax seeds. And here are some tiny flax seeds. Look at this. They're just tiny. They're named in the Bible, and they contain powerful plant chemicals, including lignans, omegas, proteins, and yes, you may have heard doctors say years ago, oh, stay away from flax seeds if you have breast cancer because they're estrogenic. Well, it turns out, further research shows over and over again that yes, they're estrogenic in a positive way. They help you to metabolize the stronger and aggressive estrogens so you can get them and excrete them out of your body. So it is safe, according to my naturopathic doctor and many forms of research, for a breast cancer patient to have up to two tablespoons freshly ground daily. And this is what I do. I put those two tablespoons in my coffee grinder and I grind them every day. There was a muffin study. You know, they say, do you know the muffin man? So here's my question. Do you know the muffin study? It was done on breast cancer patients in treatment. Half of them were given muffins made with flaxseed. The other half got a placebo. And what they found was that the ladies who had the muffins with the flaxseed, they increased cancer cell death and reduced their tumor markers. What a victory for a cancer patient. Now let's look at the last one on the list, and that's just dark leafy greens. There's romaine lettuce, yes, there's spinach. As a matter of fact, studies on spinach show that spinach inhibits cancer and suppresses tumors in mice. But other research shows that spinach and these dark leafy greens help to reduce risk for cancer in humans as well. For this and so many reasons, I use all five of these top cancer foods in my daily smoothie every day. And you can go to my YouTube channel, at Jenny Brandt, and look for the video, How to Make My Chocolate Blueberry Banana Smoothie, because it tastes great, and it's a great way to ensure that I get these foods every single day. Remember, every plant in God's kingdom has cancer-fighting power. Our body is miraculous, and the world that God has created for us is miraculous as well, and it complements our body when we eat from the foods that God has made. I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and share it with others you think might be interested. Also, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I make new videos. Here's to your good health. 